This is Lockie Hume, and you're listening to The Crowject. Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Crowject, episode 207, Ooh, apparently. Nice. Mm, getting on there. Uh, thank you to our sponsors in Nathaniel's Coffee and Panini and Trojan Aluminium, and make sure you check out Nathaniel's new store, Nathaniel's Porta Via, which is open now, 229 Green Hill Road. But don't forget the existing store. Oh, yes, of course. Don't on forget the, the one road that it is? we are in yes. right now. I don't Painham actually, Road, isn't it? Painham yeah. Road, yeah, maybe. Yeah. We'll go with that. We drive here every week, but I wouldn't have a clue. Um, yeah, we'll go with Payton Road. Payton Very nice. Road. Look for yeah. the blue and white sign. It's beautiful. Beautiful panini. Yeah. Uh, we have some people here today to talk about yes. the crom. That's it's always good. Uh, we'll start with Jade. How are you, Jade? I'm good. Welcome How are back. you? Yes, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And Leighton. How are you? Good, good. And Leighton's brought some friends along yes. today. We've got we've got a uh, guest from another podcast, Seven Nothing is Serious. We've got Louise. Hello, thank you for scraping the barrel and getting us on. <laughs> <laughs> and the bear. Yes, thank you for getting 20% of the Gold Coast membership base on in one episode. It's really <laughs> impressive. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to uh, listen to more Nuff than the Crowject, go to Seven Nuts and a Serious, where there's not just a Crows fan, there's a Suns fan. Is right. that the only combination of a podcast with a Crows fan and a Suns fan at the same time, every week? Yeah, it probably is. We do enjoy getting stuck into the interstate teams, so there's quite a lot of coverage of the SA teams, the Queensland teams, uh, not too much. Not of the VFL. Uh, the, yeah, yeah the, and, the, and the VFL as well, with uh, Gold Coast doing nicely there, so uh, I'm starting to save the pennies in case of a VFL grand final appearance, because oh. I uh, don't know when the AFL one's happening, but I will be counting it towards the AFL Premiership titles, because exactly. Can. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just fair, really, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is an unusual company. Is there any Gold Coast podcasts out there? Uh, there's a couple. There's a okay. couple uh, based in Queensland, but I haven't reached out to them yet, so they're Ooh. not worth listening to. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I'll get in touch with them. Don't you got to you, you got to have your Crom Gold Coast <gasps> combo yep. going on over here. Elite enough. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Crom. They played yesterday. Yes. Mm, uh, we played the Lions, Adelaide Oval, in front of 33,188 people on a lovely Sunday twilight time slot. Yes. And who won, Jade? The Mighty Crom. Oh. The Mighty Crom. So you haven't heard already. Final scores. Yeah, right? If you were still asleep. So we have uh, Crom, 14-11-95. Brisbane, 10 18 78, mm. which is tragic, actually. I didn't realise how many points they kicked until, like, this morning. And I was, like, looking at my phone. So, maybe I did drink too much of the game. But <laughs> I was just, like, when someone was, like, oh, they kicked, like, one goal nine in a quarter. I was, like. That sounds like us. No, they didn't, did they? And yeah. I looked and I was, like, oh, they did. Yeah, shit. So. I think I was 18. Were many of them rushed? I don't know. I didn't look. Probably. At yeah, yeah, probably. Like, yeah, look at that. F- like, five goals, eight at half time, And then six goals, 17. Yeah. At the end of the third. Ooh, so yikes. Yeah. Yeah, they probably could have put us away in that third quarter. Eh? Yeah. Did you think we were going to get smashed? Do you think we were just going to get run over the top? Yeah, I thought we were one goal away from um, raising the white flag, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I was wrong. Yeah. Well, good thing you were. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had quite a few goal kickers. We had Walker with three, Philthorpe two, Peddler two, um, <laughs> For some reason, someone told me I said his name wrong, and now it, now oh, no. it plays on my mind every time. It's not Rankin. Rankin. It's Rankin. Good job. Rankin. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Rankin. Oh, How do you pronounce you it? Yeah. Oh, who, who? Oh, the old Gold Coast Rankin. supporter. <laughs> yeah, Rankin. No, you, you special player. Been, yeah. and can definitely pull a couple of good ones out the bag. He did, yeah. yeah he and he had 30, 23 touches as well. Yeah, he had a lot of, good. I don't know That's huge. how many like goal assists or score moments or whatever he yeah. had on paper, but it looked like he was like in the... In a lot of the in a lot of them, players. yeah. Made the AFL team of the week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoa, yeah. FIFA. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> <Cut. Yes. laughs> <laughs> I know last week we were talking about like it's like um, Rankin versus Charlie Cameron. Yeah. The well, old Charlie video. Cameron had like and he, four goals. Yeah, he did pretty well too. Yeah. I think he. I think he had mm. only like seven or eight touches for the four goals. But hey, four goals is four goals. So can't complain. Um, we also had Keys, Fog, McHenry, Rochelle, and Saligo all kicking. One. Nice. Um, now, winding back to the selections. So we had um, Hinge coming out with a concussion, um, Barry and Himmelberg out. Yeah. Uh, and Walker, Dude, Worrell, Philthorpe, 
Haley McHenry. Oh, that's before I was like, that's, that's too many hands. <laughs> hey, is, this some sort of, <laughs> is this some sort of cheating tactic? We're just going to put an extra three players on? Yeah, North Adelaide style. <laughs> um, we also had Smith as a late out with a back issue. Yeah. Yes. So McHenry played the full game. Was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so some pretty good ins. Yeah. yeah. That was good to have um, Dude back. Warra did well. He I did. I liked his game. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what do you think of his game, Wiz? Oh, I'm a huge fan of Worrell. Oh, yeah? yeah? I think that uh, when, when Duday leaves, and I say when, oh, Worrell no. will take his spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Definitely there was a defender <laughs> re-signing, and I thought it was going to be Duday. I oh, know. yeah. <laughs> I saw the notification yeah. as well, and I was like, it's going to be him, and I opened it. I was like, oh, that's still good. But it's still good. It, yeah, they I think it was just the fact that it was like, yeah, key defender. Like, and it just, I was like, oh, it has to be dudes. <laughs> <It wasn't. laughs> nah, they were just... They had us there for a bit. I felt really bad for um, Worrell because like that first, pretty much the first time the ball came near him in the game, you know how he like spoiled that dude. Oh, yeah. And then like, and then like 30 seconds later, he kicked it out of bounds on the ball. And yeah. I was like, what a good start to the game. Great start. But, no, he, he picked it back off after that. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Someone else made it to the team of the round, didn't they? Murray. Uh, yeah, Murray. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say one of the defenders did. Good to see we- defenders getting some recognition for once. Uh, right. Um, was- <laughs> when you think about it, you wouldn't think that Murray, and like Murray's made it a few times now, I feel, this year. Like at the start of the season, yeah. you would never have thought that Murray yeah, you would thought be he was the still person. Behind butts. Right. You just would not have thought that Murray would be like, I guess, our standout defender, really, yeah. when you mm. think about it. I think the whole defense yesterday did a very, very good job. Mm-hmm. They did. Mm. I know. Um, uh, Cameron kicked four, but I feel like Michael Lane still had a good game on him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. he only had like eight, t- seven, eight touches or something, didn't yeah, he? So yeah, eight, like, eight disposals. Yeah. They were all sort of opportunist goals. They're still good, obviously. Yeah, exactly. For Brisbane, but that's, Michael Lane did well. Yeah, no, definitely. Did you um, did you catch this game, Bear? Uh, I did catch some of it, uh, yeah, but nice. I was also working at the venue as well. So oh, uh, oh. when there was no one around, we had the KO ups. So <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> right. Where, where were you working? Do you uh, get discounted like uh, chips or something? I was actually in the merchandise van selling uh, the merch for you, Mob. So oh, oh, you got you got me to thank for being able to pay the oh. rank and salary. Plenty, plenty <laughs> of badges. He's a very popular man. So it's Rankin and Rochelle, the two R's that. Uh, so <laughs> Yeah. Had a, like, fat stack of each of them and got through most of them. So you go. You so, took yeah. um you're taking Lockie Murphy's job. So yeah. I, I was gonna say, when are you getting a call up uh, to the crew side? Yeah. <laughs> Wednesday nights, the mid season. Uh, Come on. Have you PTs yet? out there that can um you know fucking lose fifteen in the next forty eight hours? <laughs> <laughs> Lock it in. That's it. And I and I can kick a mean torp. Well, no. could. Don't know if I could now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't tell that to the recruiters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, drop punts and handballs. Plenty of handballs. Yeah. Nixie, I know you like the Ruckman handballing, so, um, yeah. <laughs> <Lock handball. laughs> Platform <Yeah>. hand. <laughs> Uh, what did I say? Oh, there's some, uh, this is some suspensions coming out of this game. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hot off the press. There's, um, hot, hot, hot. Zorko got suspended for well, a week. Was it um, eye gouging or yeah. um, eye contact or something? <laughs> the eye region. Oh, eye region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, eye region, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, it doesn't like, have you know, to be around in the, the eye. Yeah. No, it was more of a forehead sort of thing. But it's oh, like, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's what I'm like. Is it still? Okay, this is my theory. I, I kind of like Zorka. I like him. Like, I know he's a little grub, but I think like he's <laughs> You're got, so he's controversial, Ellie. <laughs> oh, God. Watch out. <laughs> some pizzazz about him you know and I think he shouldn't have been suspended just for the fact that like I think he was trying to gouge his eyes but like he failed so like if you're like if you're trying to like just if you're trying to punch someone and you miss you don't get suspended if you're trying to gouge someone's eyes and you miss you shouldn't get suspended I think the intent for a non-football action gets him in trouble can't have the kids the next day going out eye gouge no but (laughs) <laughs> yeah, exactly. but, won't hold up at a under eight strut, you know, but he I didn't think. do it though. He uh, just he tried to do it. <laughs> maybe just giving his forehead a massage, you know. Yeah, he's been watching yeah. some three stooges. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but not just Zorka. We had Laird. Yeah, one game suspension. Yeah, are we going to challenge that? I feel like Crows should. I think they will that. because yeah, it was it was against Lucky Neil, right? It was. Yeah, yeah. and someone got done like two weeks ago. For tackling no- looking now as well. Oh, well, well. Oh, uh, they're just protecting conspiracy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And hey, conspiracy. who wasn't it? Uh, you Ray that said that Lockie Neil was talking to the umpires before the match. 
Oh. Oh, I see you nodding over there. So see, it was all part of the Lockie Neal wants to win the brown though. He's just like So he's trying to wipe yeah. out as many midfielders as he can. Okay. So he's the only one that's left. Right. Mm-hmm. Eligible. I actually mentioned this about five weeks ago on our episode. Um Lockie Neal has been playing for these frees all year. He's using his own momentum yeah. to, to get into the mm. the spin, I guess you'd call it, and playing for frees and he's getting people suspended. So I think once we're going to see it more yeah. in the AFL now. Once you sort of start moving, like hey, you can't just stop tackling him. and yeah. Or if you let him go, it's, it's almost worse. Yeah, these days mm. as well, uh, you know, that unofficial 360 holding the ball rule that they used to play. Yeah. Now, if you if you hold on to him, you're going to drag him in the ground. If you let go of him, they're going to get out and dispose of the footy clean. Yeah. So mm. what do you do as a tackler? It's difficult in a split-second decision. Mm. Mm. Um, I can't comment on whether it should be weeks or not with the conflict of interest this Weekend coming, <laughs> uh, probably the book of them at least a week. Um, well, he's saying this podcast uh, is not biased at all. That's right. The unprecedent. He's probably in trouble. But I honestly, unbiasedly, don't think there was too much in it. But mm. it's hard to tell. Michael Christian will toss the coin. And <laughs> yeah, they, that's ch- it. they we'll challenge it. That's what it seems yeah. like, anyway. I know it mm. seems really. Random. I think all the other uh, bands that went through on the weekend are all being challenged, except the Sicily one. Oh, I think okay, that's the only yeah. one that's been accepted. I think there's like three that are being challenged at the tribunal tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're going to ignite at busy, the tribunal. Yeah, busy When's work. the deadline that they have to decide whether they challenge or not? Anyone know? I think it's normally by like tomorrow, midday or something like that. Yeah. I don't think you get a very long because it will sit on Wednesday night, I think. Mm. So, yeah. Jeez. What a, what a round of footy when Zorka and Sicily get suspended. Who would have guessed that would happen? <laughs> <laughs> Two I, I outstanding know. individuals. You're right, yeah. And Dusty gets off. <laughs> yeah. <True>. No surprise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else we got? Uh, Fogalicious. I don't know. Does he deserve Fogalicious this week? Ooh. It, it, was, <laughs> it was okay. It was, it, was pretty, it was pretty good. It was fine. Yeah. I don't know where any of the things are. Oh, here we go. Do I play it? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Bog. Bog. What about him? What about him? <laughs> what he about one, him? Yeah, one go one, ten touches. He took a fantastic mark that definitely was not out of bounds. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love when he was setting up for uh, the shot and goal and the fans behind him was like, oh, my God, that's definitely out. <laughs> right. <laughs> But I don't know. I think uh, Foggy's been a little bit down at the moment. He has. He has. He's been a little bit down and out, but I think they'll stick fat with him. Yeah. I don't see them making any changes there, especially when, well, the other two options that we have didn't play that great last week. So I just don't. True. I, I would have liked to see Lockie G get another game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah like, I like, I like yeah. Lockie. Yeah. Yeah. I think he'd be definitely the preference over him or Slug. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, the dragon. I think dragon. Fog is, I think yeah. That. Fog's important for the forward structure. He is, I, yeah. Even if he's big body. Banging goals yeah. all the time. He hasn't um, looked the same since uh, he injured his knee at the end of the Port game. So yeah. I think he's still carrying yeah. something True. there. Mm, get yeah, to the bye. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's it. And the buy fixes all. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? Like, like, as bad as your run is, like, uh, West Coast had just been screaming out for the buy since about <laughs> round three. <laughs> I know, but yeah, you say it talked about all the time, like, oh, I bet they can't wait for the bye. And it's like, it's just a weird, things are going to be just as shit afterwards. Yeah, like, what yeah, do you I think know. happens on the bye? Let's go start the bye. Miracles. I mean, yeah. they, yeah. How are you? I piss up at Greg Clark's place, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Greg. Greg, Greg Clark Greg. does look like the, the type of guy that would organise that. He would, he would yeah, have those. Yeah, great <laughs> team man. Played, what, is he zipping 16, zipping 17? Uh, I don't know if he'll survive the he's, cold. He's but, just uh, the curse. Now please. he's been... Just let him win one game because that will be the biggest Gatorade shower of all time. <laughs> or golden shower. One oh. <laughs> or the other. <laughs> Love you, Greg. <laughs> yeah, maybe if he gets to 20, maybe that's the thing. If you get to 20 losses in a row, you get a golden shower. If you don't, yeah. then you get the Gatorade shower. It really, it really pumps really you up to get that win. I don't know which one I we know someone who'd love that. <laughs> Kent Brockman. <laughs> JB, if you're listening. <laughs> oh, oh, next, goodness. we have goal of the year. Um, Rankin and Rochelle have been nominated. Yes. That's Two nice. Two badgemen. Both great goals. And I think Rochelle was claiming that he had the best goal or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Who's the other person that's nominated? 
Because uh, it's no, normally I, I don't know, but it's irrelevant. Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's going to happen? Matter. It's going to be that Crows fans will split their votes and the yeah. other person will win. Yeah. The other person will win. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have a look up who it is. It wasn't Harry Mackay. Oh, my God. That's a safe bet every week, really. <laughs> um, Poor Harry. Yeah, let us know when you find it because that's, I will, that's I will. a very interesting point. It's like in the Brownlow when people steal votes from you because mm-hmm. you're on the same team oh, as another. Cosy Pickett. Cosy Pickett. Mm. So Cozy it will not actually surprise me if yeah, too many Crows fl- fans split yeah. votes. Yeah. And um, so who are you campaigning for, guys? Yeah, we got a Brick Shelley. You got a platform here. Brick Shelley has to be. Oh, I reckon Rankin. Rankin. I reckon Rankin. Rankin was the better yeah. goal. All right. I'm going to go Rankin. 2v1 right <laughs> I'm saying Rochelle because Rankin, okay. do, Rankin does yeah, it every I, week. I want you on yeah, my side. Yeah, that's a good right. point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's got the whole like Eddie Betts thing about it where it's like, yeah, you've done something cool, but you do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, Rochelle. I think Rochelle for the celebration as well. Mm. you gotta, you got to consider that, I reckon. TSG fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't mind a little bit of that. Come on. <laughs> Um, all right, what else? Who um, who impressed? Who who did everyone like in this game? I really liked Sloane's game. I thought he had a, mm. he played really well. Yeah, um, just yeah, a lot of point, good, actually. like bringing ball to the ground, good contests, turnovers. Yeah, I thought mm-hmm. he played well. Yeah, no, that's a good like shout. That, like that. I liked um, I, did, I liked Ben Keys actually. Except Me the man needs to learn to kick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe he's right footed all along. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I feel like so he so. just. I really like Ben Keys, but I feel like sometimes he rushes a bit. Yeah. Like he's like almost a bit yeah. too frantic. I love a frantic footballer, <laughs> but he is just like he picks up the ball and he's literally like a headless fucking chicken. Sometimes he is just like. <laughs> <laughs> like to describe it. You can see his mind panicking he's like, when he's got the ball. Yes. Oh shit! Yeah. I can't handball. I don't need a. I don't need a tackle. I just need to try and kick it. Now. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Does my hair look alright? Right. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. I think Ben Keys had a very, very good game. Yeah. Jordan yeah. Dawson is just a given at this stage. Oh, I feel yeah. like he just he does it every week. So. Yeah, ten tackles too. He did yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. How many did Laird have? Sixteen. Sixteen. Jesus, that's so many tackles. 16. <laughs> yeah, that's so many tackles. Mind blowing. Uh, what do you reckon, Wiz? Uh, I enjoyed uh, Rob's game. Rob, yes. Rob, yes. <laughs> you love yeah, Rob. you can. <laughs> Divides opinion, but um, you yeah, he stood up. A couple, couple of big, big moments there. And being in the wet wasn't really a Ruckman's game. And McInerney's actually a pretty hard opponent, I think. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, he stood up when it counted. Yeah, it was something like the first game where both Ruckman had had, had over, had over 50 50, hit outs or yeah. something, mm. which is crazy. But it did seem like um, there's a lot of, I know like uh, Cream is always going on about the fact that he thinks Dilthorpe is going to become our number one Ruckman. I just don't think yeah. so. Even in the even the Ruck contests in the forward lines, Tex was doing them. Not Dilthorpe yeah. wasn't doing them all the time, it was Tex. So um, I think Rob... Rob all the way. Rob all the way. Yeah. Rob all the way. The guy has like, he has a tank on him. Like he can run and run and run like, it's, I guess mm. the, the 50... Whatever hit outs is um yeah yeah I think his that. kicking is getting a bit better as well yeah, I, I think, think he's, so. I think he's Are you sure <laughs> <laughs> you can open one of it now <laughs> you can open one of it, yeah. I think okay <laughs> enough for okay, blood for one episode that, when I when I say that I mean I think he's more willing to kick the ball yeah he actually because yeah. normally he will stand there and like jitter on the spot and wait for someone to run past but I feel like he's more confident in yeah. kicking it doesn't mean yeah. we're all confident in him kicking it I still, I still prefer the <laughs> ratio of five kicks to ten handles though. I still much prefer that and the other way around. <laughs> How many kicks did he have? He had what? Uh, God, I don't even know. What Five I'm kicks. Looking. Five kicks. Ten handballs. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Two, two marks, four tackles. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. that's seven. He contributed. But yeah, no, nah, he did. He was definitely around it and looked. He looked good. What do you reckon, Bear? Who do you like as a neutral? Uh, well, more so as who I'm worried about that could take the game away from Gold Coast Ooh. in Darwin Ooh. would be uh, Mr. Cromson that uh, has been touched on by Jade. I uh, do really think that him and Anderson in the middle, if they just let him go head to head rather than uh, mm. getting Keezy to tag him like Wiz mentioned on the way here, um, do it mm. so that footy's a winner. Nixie, <laughs> don't tag Anderson. <laughs> and he's losing too much money in my super coach. I need to start seeing some pubs. <laughs> so that's just, yeah, another heartfelt out to you, Nixie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they should, yeah, they should be quite worried about your super coach team, not about winning the game is the lesson. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I've got uh, quite a few sons, uh, cash cows, who I need to cash in on 
and punt one being mr atkins as we mentioned yes yeah, so, oh yes we did. you know nervous wait at the selection table <laughs> for him this week but mm. yeah, let's see what the stewy salad brings mm. is he actually doing good in super coach because in fantasy <laughs> all the we were talking about this the other week where yeah. all the crow supporters net don't don't pick him up yeah <laughs> except <laughs> except i did this week but oh, did you? <laughs> Oh, this week of all, oh. I know, I know the worst week. His because I was looking, his fantasy scores have actually been really good. Like yeah. he's been like eighties, Do you know who you're picking? I know. I knew that it wasn't going to last, but yeah. for some reason, I just did it. It was. A he was more just in his quick and easy cash. Like yeah, yeah kind of exactly. Up. His break even was low. If you didn't really jump on him in the first two, maybe three games, you probably missed the boat. Yeah, yeah. thanks for that. In hindsight, in hindsight, that's that's yeah. That's in pretty super good coach. Advice. He went 89, 68, 62, 102, which is the week I put him on the bench. <laughs> the and 28 last week. Yeah. He's, uh, mm. Yeah, he's gone up 97.9K, so. Yep, hold him for one more week, folks, I reckon. Yeah, it's good advice. This is fantasy land just uh, in the... In Supercoach in super, well. Yeah, all right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I did say before the pod that I wanted this whole pod to be about Rory Atkins, and I so, guess you know, we're, we're heading that <laughs> way. We keep going. Yeah, we I don't know how we got going. onto him, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll be dropped this week. Oh, Mr. Constable back. Big There'll cool. be a few Hopefully. fantasy land super coaches yeah. that would be... Uh, pitchfork and flames up at uh, Heritage Bank if Constable doesn't oh, yeah. yes. sometimes oh, soon. I, I mean, know. holding on. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I mean, I hope, he, I hope he plays because if the game is close, well, then he's going to be like the bloke sitting in that, that chair right there. <laughs> <laughs> but someone should just stake out the Brisbane uh, airport just to see if he turns up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> be like a... With that bloke really. went from uh, the monorail was <laughs> Kulungatta. Kungara. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I guess enough Rory Atkins chat for now. <laughs> we'll come back to the Rory later. I do. I want him to stay in because I want to see the matchup of all time: Rory Atkins versus Chase Jones. I reckon that's that's one for the ages. Yeah, Combs is in the super coach as well. <laughs> Uh, all right, we'll jump over to some um, feedback from the listeners. So over to Twitter, we have Don Wilson, who has said, forward line, the sum of the parts is greater than when separated. Last week, two tools, Tex and Filth out, dogs back surround and block fog from different directions. Our mids were smothered, making it hard. This week was not possible with three tall targets to mind and peds and smalls. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. That's very yeah. much uh, more insightful than anything we've said so far. <laughs> we'll go with yeah, that. I think you kind of have to wipe out the Bulldogs game when you look at it because you go yeah. uh, Lockie and Himmelberg hadn't played. Have, have either of them played a game at all this year except that one? No, I think that was... Did Himmelberg I thought Lockie G did. Yeah, he played the showdown. Played one, oh, oh, that's it, one that's, game. That's so, his specialty, the showdown. <laughs> yeah, it is, it yeah. is. So I, I think it. to bring them like both in to take out two players who have been consistently in the side yeah, yeah. and bring those two in. I think it was always a bit of a recipe for disaster. Mm. Yeah, no, that's fair. Being in a forever rebuild, a bit of an expert on the matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're going to get results like that too when you can see the light mm -hmm. in the tunnel and then you just get belted it and you're just like, oh, like that's more frustrating because you know the team's starting to get better yeah. and you get yeah. one of those and you feel like it's... it's you know, footy's an emotional game. When we lost mm -hmm. the three-hour gather round, the, the toys were out the cot, weren't they? <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, but then you can just get back on the horse the next week, as they showed. So yeah, yeah, it's exactly. just about tempering yeah. expectations. Yeah. That's and tough to do at the time. Yeah, it is. And I think the other thing to look at is, is the fact that our away games that we've played this year have all been quite difficult yeah. ones. Like, we're they're just, not at your usual grounds. We have not bad, played... Yeah. We've literally played Mars, which we normally are terrible there, like, except for last year when we when we won uh, we've played at Giants Stadium which we just always play terrible against the Giants we've we played in Geelong in the first half though. we did <laughs> see, and it's, see it's like we didn't lose by that much we played yeah, well yeah. in Geelong we lost by like 28 points or whatever it was but most of that was in the last few minutes they got those red time goals so I don't think we've played that bad away necessarily everyone's saying that we can only results, play at home yeah. But I think our away Find games weird, weird haven't right. Yeah. Our away games haven't been that bad. Like our first like away game at a proper thing is the MCG in round fifteen. It was mm. Collingwood. Yeah. So good point. Hey. Yeah, we've played and we've played in Tasmania. Mm. So yeah, just we've the played little grounds. Yeah. 
we're unique like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh, we, oh, we just apparently don't pull the crowds to uh, play oh, at the MCGs. Oh, that's so. right. Yeah. We're not good enough for that. Um, oh, it's been, yeah, speaking of that, going back to that, what, what do you reckon of the 33... Thousand. You were saying something about it there before. Yeah, it's a reasonable crowd for the uh, Sunday yeah, graveyard shift. Mm. Um, As a Gold Coast supporter, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, great. I, I'd be happy with 33. <laughs> then they fit well, 33 in the country con when we had 55 there for Harry Styles. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, saw a couple of the AFL boys there, a head uh, taller than all the ladies. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, saw a few families leaving early, um, despite a good game, just I think... The, the weather wasn't great, so anyone 50-50 probably went, ah, oh, not mm. going to take the kids out Sunday evening. There was mm. a few that went early with the pram and stuff, so probably just see as much footy as the kids can handle and mm. head off, beat the traffic. So, um, yeah, I think 33 for, you know, a Sunday great wet weather. shift. And yeah, the wet weather. Um, it's respectable. Yeah, no, that's fair. Mm. Yeah, I think so. I think we've we've got some better time slots coming up. Yeah, soon. we do after, after the bye. Seasons, yeah, so. three night games. See, the bye fixes everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it just does. all comes it's back to the bye. <laughs> it took them long enough to release the fixtures. Oh, 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 oh no. terrible! Don't that's get terrible. me started on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, jumping back to Twitter. Got a little sidetracked. Um, we have Scott Cowan who says main area of improvement for me is another 4pm Sunday time slot by the scheduling team of the AFL. <laughs> was he listening to us? <laughs> we were just talking about Scott. this. Scott. <laughs> but um, yeah, fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we've got uh, Matt who says Isaac, best on ground. What do you reckon about that? Ooh. No comment. No, comment. <laughs> no happy if he's happy. Um, it's um, always nice awesome. to see. Well, y- you want to see kids that get drafted, like, play 200, 300 games at the same club, but it's not always realistic. And yeah. as long as they're happy, sometimes happy footballers make better footballers, mm. as we have seen with uh, Jason Horny Bonkic over the road. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, as long as he's happy, I guess, just hard to swallow at the time. But he's mm. been the only really big name since Lynch and May left, since Dewey took over. So, yeah, you, you can't win them all. And yeah, sadly, no, that's it. Yep, he and wasn't one. Whatever gets you to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've been giving myself the pep talk. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> that that was beautiful words. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No, I give myself that pep talk about Rory Atkins every night too. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope Rory's happy up there. If I was at kicks eight next weekend, the sentiment might be different. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> uh, all right, jumping over to Facebook, we have Brendan McGarrigan, friend and Patreon of yeah. the show, who says... Um, in the jungle, the crowing jungle, the lions slept tonight. What a win. <laughs> Great work. That's good. <laughs> Very nice, Brendan. I love that. <laughs> um, we have got Daniel Lepper who says, solid win, but we need consistency. Crows for life. Ooh, yes. For life. Like for life. He's locked it in. Um, consistency, I don't think we're lacking that much consistency. I don't think we are. Except that, that, last week it, was that blip. It, but yeah, it comes back to the conversation just before about the grounds that we've played at. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we've been as bad as some people have said we have been away. The results don't look great. It's like one and four or something like that. But I think when you look at the bigger picture, it's really not that bad. Mm. Um, we've got Troy Kinslow who says, I can't believe I went to the Ballarat game last week and missed this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's rough. That's classic. We that's were at the Ballarat terrible. game. You didn't, you didn't we go were. to the Ballarat game? No. <laughs> you really yeah, missed out. Yeah. You, were smart, you really <laughs> missed out. It was a cracker. <laughs> it was. It was a bit reminiscent when it started raining and the cold wind and everything. It's very reminiscent. Yeah. That game Ballarat. almost brought Name Again back into business. There were that many calls to AFL House saying, I want a replay of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and lastly, some uh, really good analysis from Travis Robertson, who says Ned McHenry likes to fish. <laughs> oh yes, I've heard that. <laughs> Thank you, you very yeah. much. Thanks, Travis. Like Appreciate the great that. Matt Shaw. <laughs> oh, if you remember him, what's that story? Tell us he more. He just likes fishing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not much to tell. We <laughs> love it. We love that. Good story. Yeah, his Instagram yeah. is like Jeremy Cameron's. It's just full of holding fish. Like uh, <laughs> typical dating profile. Uh, and we have got in- Instagram here. Just mm. a few. Uh, Andrew put uh, finally the long awaited return of Wayne, the dancing gecko Miller. Whoa, <laughs> I like dancing that. Gecko. Yes, <laughs> new nickname. Uh, yeah, that's okay. very good. And then we had David saying, bag kicking wins us games. <laughs> <laughs> that's accurate. That would. <laughs> and Hamish put two words flag crom. Yep. Too early? Yeah. All right. Oh, no. Nah, get around. I've had it on my Hinge profile all year. <laughs> <laughs> Hinge profile. Jeez. 
<laughs> Rum vs Gold Coast Grand Final confirmed. Why not? Mm. <laughs> uh, 2040. Yeah. There should, there yeah, should be yeah. another like final system of like the plate. Or like it should be. 9th <laughs> yeah. be 10th or something. Yeah. That'd be good. Give you us should the have a bottom eight final series. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind that. Wait, is it? Yeah. Or, or the Get, bottom eight the, state of origin. Put the bottom origin. ten in AFLX. So yes. you just have a couple yes. of yes. players That play is a great idea. So, like, right. so maybe you could play a Carl couple Cheney. of guys that didn't he needs to come back. a lot of game yeah, time. Yeah, bring him back. Yeah. Give him a bit more of a run. Yeah, and you can bring in one. Yeah, one legend. Yeah. 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 Jared Grant, full yeah. forward. The wild card, I like and that. And it should actually be a draft like you had in like primary school where it's like oh, everyone just like, stands yeah. there yeah. and it's like, yeah, yeah. and they go, uh-huh. yeah, I want you, come over. <laughs> you, yeah. Oh, come on. I can't see that causing any problems. I mean. Poor old Atkins will be last picked. <laughs> <laughs> Who Probably. would be last picked? I don't know. Oh, that's a good question. In the whole AFL, or are you talking your own club? Um, your own club, just to narrow it down. Oh, yeah. last picked. Mm. I reckon for Crows. <sighs> this is hard, gotta, actually. Yeah, because you've got to have your key position players, so you, you know, you're not. Jake Stein for Gold Coast. Uh, been, a, been a late yeah. delisted free agent. Um, yeah, Brett Turner, yeah. last pick. Brett <laughs> Touchy <laughs> subject. <laughs> I actually don't know who would be our last pick. Mm, Matt Crouch. <laughs> oh, yeah, who's oh, picking the team? Is I'm going to the team? Jackson Haitley. Jackson Haitley. Nah, yeah. I'd pick him Jason. first. Jason. I'd pick him first. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pick him first. Uh, and we've also got some audio messages. Uh, so if you call 8246... Five four nine eight after the game. Yeah, I'm just going to say that in the phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> the next uh, week, yeah. <laughs> Bragging rights. Let's you see. never know. Well, here's the first one. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I just wanted to say that the employees have been absolutely diabolical tonight. It's been absolutely fucked up. Really not doing the game. And, you know, I just wanted to do the membership and everything else like that. I reckon four umpires has just completely ruined the game and the fabric of the game and everything else like that. Anyway, go crash. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Peter? That's Peter. That's, That's definitely Peter. I mean, no, what? Peter? What, what are you what? talking about? That must be a relative of Peter. Yeah. <laughs> that well, was... At least he ended with the positive. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, was very, that was very 5 double I liked it. Uh, <laughs> All right, what do we got next? Another relative of Peter? Probably. <laughs> Sup, fam? That didn't sound as cool as I wanted. <laughs> yeah. I'm like 30 now. I can't be saying that. <laughs> anyway, what's up? Uh, great win by the boys. I thought it was unfair that all the brilliance in my head was walking and talking and not being recorded, so I thought I'd call y'all. What a win by the boys. Boys are up and about. I seen Dunkley tackle Dawson in front of me, and they were two thick boys <laughs> going at it. It was like a horse pissing. It was strong and majestic, very loud. I could not take my eyes off of it. Anyway, good luck recording. I'm probably on it. <laughs> That's a <him. laughs> big meaty men slapping me. <laughs> Go to horny jail, seriously. <laughs> so we've just got people this? on the pod calling in. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Peter, we've never met you, but you need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Ray that time. Oh, Ray. Yeah. Sorry, Ray, you need therapy. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't deny it. <laughs> oh, fuck, and that's funny. last one, I don't know who this is, but this goes for two minutes. Oh, we'll yeah. see how we go. Oh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone take a load off. <laughs> okay. I'll stop uh, when I'm ready to go. So, anyway, uh, happy Sunday night, Crow Jack. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say that... Uh, Good win by the Crows over a uh, top four team. Um, obviously, we had a whole little bit of ups and downs, but hopefully uh, we'll learn from this game and we'll move forward because obviously beating a team like Brisbane is actually a good thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow, good analysis. We're still sitting third. We're now sitting... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We've lost him. <laughs> Come back. We have still got a minute forty um, to go. He's just checking the ladder. Bulldogs are just in front of us. <laughs> After losing to the Suns, um, it's nice at uh, the train station at uh, Christie Down. 
Oh, Christy Downs. Oh, so, oh wow. <laughs> South I would like to think that next week we drop Lockie Murphy. What? Oh. Can't stand him. Oh, oh wow. Um, can't yeah, take over right? Jam Tin. Almost cost us the game that last quarter. Whoa. And I think we need to go with the fact that we've got a good nucleus of kids. We just don't need nucleus. that kids in it's our team anymore. getting scientific here. Love it. I think Ned <laughs> McHenry is the guy to go with. Yep. And then we go guy. with that. Anyway, Savior. Um, good win all the same. You guys keep doing what you're doing and uh, enjoy the uh, rest of the week. And uh, hopefully next week we'll get another win and solidate our spot in the eighth and move forward. Anyway, happy Sunday. Uh, enjoy your week and goodbye. Well, that oh. person was oh, very wholesome. Very that wholesome. was very wholesome. sweet. I liked the review of Christie's Downs train yeah. station. <laughs> that was my favourite part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think not so very often about <laughs> throwing the word nucleus, like footy yeah. nucleus. Yeah. Th- like you take the conversation like 10 times more seriously. Oh, 100%. <laughs> After that, I was listening to every word he said. Lucky Murphy out the door. The, the Lucky <laughs> Murphy call is very interesting. <laughs> Obviously didn't see the footage of Lockie Murphy's gut running that torched Daniel Rich and set up one of the crucial goals. At the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, it was the yeah. most low energy <laughs> feedback we've had after a win. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it sounded well, like I a 10 goal it's loss. Very, You'd be depressed too if you were coming from Christie's down. <laughs> yeah, he was just trying to be quiet. He didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're hiding in the bush. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Gee whiz. But yeah, wow. thanks, thanks for the call. Uh, Feel free to leave more. Uh, the number is eight two four six five four nine eight. Yeah, can yeah. someone else call so we don't have to? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Two thirds of those calls are from people. Well, luckily they're not people that are actually at the table. Win, lose, or draw, you'll hear from me. There we go. Right. There Can't we wait. Go. Lock right. it in. Yeah. So give us a call after the Gold Coast game. Uh, leave your thoughts for us. We'll have a Thursday night preview pod this week as well, where we'll be going through a bit more about uh, the game after selections and everything. But in the second part of the pod here, we will um, be having a chat about. About that too, and we'll have Bear's opinion on the happenings that are gonna when Crom are gonna win next week. Um, sign up to our Patreon as well, patreoncom slash project yes. um, and go and grab yourself some Go Crom merch at crowject.bigcartel.com. Get yourself something warm, a nice Crom beanie. Uh, mm. uh, is there Crom woodies left? There is, I think. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yep. Get yourself yep. a Crom woody. It's forty percent off at the moment as well. Oh, oh, oh wow! Find so many Crom beanies mm. out last night. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's were, yeah. you the actual, were you selling them? No, more than the actual club was selling. Like, <laughs> <laughs> come knocking on the door in a minute. So yeah, can, we, uh-huh. can we set up a stand next to you guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll sell it if you pay me half what they pay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, uh, very professional stuff here. I'm getting pointed at. I think there's something that I need to acknowledge. Oh, ah, uh, sent a photo. <laughs> this is very pro stuff. What are, What am I? What am I doing, Ray? Oh, 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 it's just come through. Okay, gotcha. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, here you go. From old mate Corey Norris. I understand uh, Adelaide FC will challenge Rory Laird's one match ban at the tribunal tomorrow night. Um, Neil, uh, and in brackets for the second time this year, <laughs> passive aggressive there, yeah. had one arm free and could have protected himself. Tribunal will need to decide if Neil was flopping. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, you're a flop. <laughs> Imagine that being your job. What yeah, are you doing? The technical term. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Oh, just deciding if it's mm. a flop or a non flop. <laughs> <laughs> How would you even figure that out? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Some sort of. He, lent, he went limp right there. You can see it, <laughs> that frame. Yeah. Maybe that caller that was talking about nucleuses might have something uh, to do with it. Yeah, know, maybe. Gravity, science. I don't know. Maybe you could help him out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, that was some yeah. breaking, breaking news from the sidelines over there. <laughs> Thanks to our Medi subs in the corner. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Uh, yeah, but get, grab yourself some Crom merch. Give us a call before the Gold Coast game. Um, yep. And we'll be back after these ads to talk about the Gold Coast game and go through some of our segments. And we're back. Uh, 
get your crumb merch. We've talked about this already, but get, get, more, <laughs> get more crumb merch. I'm just sellouts. <laughs> what are sellouts? <laughs> what is like? Get your crumb merch now. Get it. Um, Where can you get it from? Can you just recap that for us? <laughs> yeah, I sure can. Uh, Crojack.bigcartel.com. Do not go to the merch stand at Adelaide Oval. <laughs> <laughs> Bear is like, well, no, I'd probably do that <laughs> as well if you want. Um, uh, and sign up to our Patreon. So we're going to um, talk through some, we're going to go through some of our segments. Oh my God, um, this guy is, he just literally mooned us. The, a dude just really? literally mooned Someone's us through the window. Someone's walked past the, the Nathaniel's amazing. Coffee and Panini, <laughs> <laughs> Panini studio. Obviously a lion's fan. He, he walked up, put his hoodie on, covered it, turned around, just flashed his whole ass. <laughs> I'm so sad I'm sitting the wrong way for this. <laughs> it wasn't great viewing it. No, oh, okay. it was. It was Rory Atkins. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, you just Rory. know that they are standing over there right now, like pissing themselves, laughing. Yeah. It's the funniest thing ever. Should I go ever. chase them down? Yeah. Should I go flash them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let's, let's not do that. Oh With my the, god! Uh, probably wouldn't have caught that. Did you see that? No. no. <laughs> Jesus, I was the only one. Maybe I was just dreaming. No, it actually happened. And now, That's terrible. Uh, let's get into the news. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so new. That was there's a flasher on Payton Road. <laughs> Come the, on the moon down. is full. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So we've already we already touched on this in the earlier part of the podcast, but we've got Worrell uh, extending his contract until 2025. Yes. Do you think, was this coincidental timing with him getting a game, or was it just sort of like, oh, surely they'll give wait him a game for him to so get that game. we can extend yeah, give him a game or, so we can announce they're, it. Yeah, yeah, they're like, exactly. we're going to sign you on till the end of 2025, but only if you play well. On <laughs> yeah, Sunday, yeah, you yeah, don't, exactly. It's out the door. All right. <laughs> and when he, yeah, when he screwed up those first couple of times, he's yeah, like, they're oh, like, God, I'm not going to have a job. <laughs> I'm going to send a link. Um, yeah, we're all happy about this, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. we were yeah. saying you're, you're a big fan oh, yeah. of yeah, um, very happy of Warrell, So yeah, yeah, get around him. Uh, what else we got? We got oh, old mate, um, Paul Seedsman and his wife Alice had a baby girl, uh, hey. Cammy Jane. Very exciting stuff. They're back. Very sweet. Oh, yeah, that's them over there. The one with the red hoodie is the one that. <laughs> <laughs> There's the culprit. Quick. <laughs> they, He's done it again. Do you know what? He's done it again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Medi stuff. You got to go and attack him. Quick. They 100%. They're walking him. that way now. So they probably oh, they're saw us. They're going to do it again. Where's Nick Holman when you need him? Are we going to die? <laughs> they, oh, he just did it again. No, he did it to that car that's just right past. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Why is that? I hope happening? I locked the car. <laughs> His brown eyes are hoy. Oh, no. <laughs> please, please don't let this detain you from coming to the news for coffee and Benny. <laughs> I'm sure this is just a <laughs> this is just a once in a lifetime it's just thing. Some white antics, yeah. This doesn't happen during the day, all right? <laughs> yeah, but they're not with us. They're not part of the Seven Nos gang. So, no. No. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yeah. Good news for him, though. Uh, anyway, heard how <laughs> yeah. he's going? Uh, old seat? No, not really. No, hasn't really. Still been. get around the club, or is he just laying low at home? It's yeah. a weird Spending a lot of time at home. <laughs> well, he will be now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah He's making babies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm. yeah. So, yeah, no, good on them. Yeah, it'd be good to, yeah, be good to hear something from him. Um, yeah. Hopefully he's still just... There hasn't really been much day. since we did that, like, uh, kind of members exclusive yeah. article. Yeah. 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 No, situation on it, but, uh, um, but we can't but we can't skip over the SANFL game on Friday night. Oh, it, says, it says here in bold, <laughs> SANFL is Patreons only. Oh, no. <laughs> so if you don't... So we're getting to that. <laughs> Look. Wow. Oh, is that their car? <laughs> no way. What's Hang on a second. That means they drove past, saw us sitting in here, decided to go park the car down the street, plan <laughs> 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 to moon us, walked across here, crossed the road, <laughs> instead of walking back on our side of the road. This is like four lanes of traffic they've decided to cross. Do they walk past, do it on the opposite side of the road, run back across to their car? <laughs> what is this? This was a well-planned attack. Did you <laughs> see the design? of the car it was an italian flag there's a reason he's not here tonight. why does he hate us so much <laughs> why is he trying uh, that is why is he sabotaging the podcast and you just know they are fucking pissing themselves laughing right now thinking it's the best thing ever and well you're right <laughs> So 
for the listeners, Peter, oh Peter was God. a late out of the podcast. Yeah. I, I was his medisub replacing him. Um, and now he's coming and is mooning us in his <laughs> Italian mobile. Yeah, it's confirmed. <laughs> I just, I just don't, him. I don't like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, on with the news. We've got the mid-season draft <laughs> happening on the 31st of May. Uh, apparently Crom have publicly said that they were doing sweet FA. Is that true? Like, mm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think it's yeah. been, ever since I nominated myself and I told Nixie that I could, uh, you know, take a few marks and dish it off, uh, and, and, yeah. used to, and used to be able to kick a talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, that might have been where I uh, lost it. <laughs> do you, um, do you think Gold Coast going to do anything? In the- uh, I reckon they'll just pick one of the academy guys. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. But the last pick was uh, Ned Moyle, and well, before Oscar Falkhead. Um, yeah, Ned Moyle was a good mm, mid-season mm. Um, backup for Witsy and mm. obviously come along very well. VFL Ruck of the Year last year and played a couple of games and Wits went down, mm. but now going to have a bit of a trouble where uh, it's probably come along quicker than they anticipated. And if you're yeah. behind Jared Wits, you're probably not going to get too many games. So, uh, yeah, good yeah point. keep mm. your hands off him because he's got a sensational muller as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep. Um, the things that matter. Yeah, yeah. I, I reckon they will just dip somewhere locally. Um, <coughs> they already got Brody McLaughlin as well from the VFL. So, yeah, the, the twos are stacked. That's what we're gunning for. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's all about the twos. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah m- maybe just like you know, pick up someone real good from <laughs> down in Victoria just to take them out <laughs> of the VFL team. Yeah, 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 we, yeah exactly. we, we call it dropping when they go to the SNFL, but you call them promoting to, <laughs> <laughs> to get to the premiership contenders. Like the winning team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I love it. Um, wouldn't it be funny if you could delist people in mid-season as well? And they, and they, do, a, they do a big show of it and they do pick by pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who's going? Yeah, everyone's, they have to <laughs> each club has to nominate like three players that are potentially up for delisting <laughs> and they all <laughs> sit in a room and it's like, <laughs> the pick is in. Really I imagine it like, uh, you know, Mr. Burns, um, his office, how it's got the... The, oh, oh, the trap, the trap door. doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Stewie, you guys tell me why I shouldn't delist you without <laughs> using the letter E. I'm a good foot guy. <laughs> Bring it in, AFL. Yeah, Come why not? <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to um, do some of our segments now. So uh, head over to patreon.com. For Project most of the segments you want, this week. Yeah, if you want some of the other segments like um, Around the Grounds. Uh, Barrel and Cecil of the week and yep. the when we talk about the sample game as well which a few of us were at this week which was mm, <laughs> some, it was something it, it was, was a game <laughs> it, was, it was a while uh, of I didn't think a goal was going to be kicked that game to be honest <laughs> but then, <laughs> then something happened so it was alright um, but we have a few segments here for you we've got um, Golden Toot of the week we got we got some music for that maybe <laughs> Do we? The we problem get, is, is find that it, it also says Peter is doing... Oh, Peter. oh yeah, it does say Peter's doing this. <laughs> I am Peter tonight, so he's doing a... Come on, Peter. He's doing a Patreon. Oh, he's doing a Patreon only run about this one. Um, oh, so we'll just do a bit of sizzle for this. So there's the... Not from outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was the special because he couldn't come inside. He's given us an outside special. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is, it's about the... Um, do you, do you know much about this? Yeah. Uh, everyone action group? Yeah. You give a bit of sizzle about this and Peter will give us a bit more. There's just going to be some protest uh, from the, uh, the Thebedon residents. Mm. Their petition Pro- had yeah. 5,500 signatures apparently. So that's, a, that's a good number. And half of them are koshy. Mm. <laughs> yeah. How that's, many fake emails did that bloke have to make? Now that he's stepping down from sunrise, yeah, he's going to have a lot of time. Exactly. Yeah. He's got a lot to do. <laughs> he doesn't even live there. He's just going door to door. Sign this. Oh, yeah, I've heard him and Dimmer are starting something off. It's a bit weird, isn't it? They're both... Um, Maybe they can uh, meet at Nathaniel's Coffee and Panini. <laughs> yeah. It's the, it's the secret relationship they haven't announced. <laughs> <sighs> um, yeah, so that's I guess Peter's Peter's one that gets fired off about all this sort of stuff. Sometimes yeah. you'll hear more about uh, this from Peter soon. Uh, next up, we got uh, Benny and the Bets. Whoa. You got something for us, Benny? Yeah, he's coming. Come on, Benny over. And the Bet. So if you haven't heard uh, the Wizard and the Bear, Benny and the Bets has a pretty average <laughs> track record. What's his strike rate? We're coming up. Strike We're rate coming uh, up. over thirty, surely. Nah, 0.5 Ooh. <laughs> That's high. That's <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, we hit 50% last week in the Hawks going plus 27 and a half. My next bet was Geelong at the line, and I thought, well, fuck, I'm home. I sent the Patreon chat that we're going to have a party because we're going to finally get a week of 100%. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
But we're back in the Cats in again this week against... I can't remember who they're playing. I just wrote down them. I don't know, but they're going to beat them. <laughs> exactly. They're paying $2.30 this week against the Western Bulldogs it is at Mark oh, Stadium. Yeah. Dogs didn't play particularly well either. So we'll back them in. And the Crows are $2.10 against the Suns on Saturday night, which I think is a nice little bit of value. Um, so hopefully that's my 50% win there on the Crows and the Cats can do whatever they want. There we go. Keep it simple. Yeah, you say this every week. You're yeah, like, yeah. Keep it simple. <laughs> this, this, the yeah. wind, it crashes and burns. <laughs> Ben's waiting for the buy round. I've not touched any lies. Yeah, yeah, the buy will ben, solve everything. You, ben, you need the buy. I can't right. lose if there's no game. <laughs> and, you know, since you announced that, the Crows, they've come down to $2.07, so... Market moves. The punters, Ooh. they're already getting on it. Watch out. <laughs> there we go. Well, thank you, Betty. You can you can sit there if you want. Hey, what do you guys think about us? punting oh against a team? Is a bit, of a, <laughs> a bit of a consolation. Like, you know, I'm, I might just go 20 on the crom just in case the... Yeah, you know, yeah. The Suns don't get up. You ever do I that? Or, mm. the, go the, the Bears and Anti-Bears multi week <laughs> Nah, I don't really bet anymore because I'm just shit at it. <laughs> Doesn't I'm, I'm heading there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't mind that actually. I do like this. Sort of but, or even thing. footy tipping, like, you know. Mm. Yeah, yeah, tip against them so if they yeah. lose, you know, upset. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, mm. 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 yeah. yeah. Um, you gave us a preview of yeah, what's to come next, Leighton. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that it was the right one. So it was. Was. <laughs> Just too early. Oh. We got fantasy land now. I'm sure there's probably. Ooh. These guys are probably much better at fantasy than I am. Yeah, no, so you're, can, you're super coach land. Take, oh, they're super. Oh, <laughs> you guys, have your own you segment? Super yeah, coach, I've touched my fantasy, fantasy three times this week. I had Clayton <laughs> Oliver was still sitting in there, and um, Tuke Miller was in there about five weeks after he got injured. So <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's, that's my fantasy team, but yeah, super coach, I do take a bit more. You sound mm. like Cream trying to do super coach, and he had a bloke that did his ACL, and he yeah. had been flying six weeks, and he's like, he'll come back. And I'm like, he's done his ACL, mate. He's probably not coming back. Uh, the Wiz taught me everything I knew. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so fantasy. I've been doing really shit lately. I was just saying off air that I got um I got old mate Rory Atkins in, which yep. was a terrible idea. Not don't good time. um yeah, don't do that. Uh, but we're coming up to the buyers, and I feel like the buyers is where you make up ground. Oh. The buyers is what's going to save me. It's going to take me from thirty thousand ranks to number one rank. Oh, okay. <laughs> Through the buyers, you're going and that easy. <laughs> exactly. And we're after the buy rounds are done, you're back down. <laughs> <laughs> can you bet on fantasy? <laughs> <laughs> you can bet on my fantasy yeah. if you want. I can start like a little I think there is sometimes a, a market for ranking points. There yeah. is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On like, certain and there's like above yeah. and below fantasy points and stuff. Um, so yeah, heading into the buyers, you have to be a bit more smart. You have to use your brain a bit more about your uh, traits. Because the first week, there's four teams that have the buy. Yep. So don't go trading all of them out because then you're going to need them <laughs> later on. Mm. And next week, there's only two, two yeah. mm. uh -huh. the buyers. But then the last two buy rounds, there's six teams on the buy with the buyers. Oh, yeah. This what is, is going to be, be terrible when the Tassie Devils come in. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. Every <laughs> week. Every it's week. It's going to be like uh, this. Yeah. You're going to have to, yeah, spread the love. Um, what are they going to say? Oh, what, what is the thing with buyers? It's like your, your best 18. I should know. Yeah, this. it's not your 22. Best 18 yeah. Yeah. players play or something. Yeah. So, yeah, my advice, don't go crazy trading out all of the ones with the buyers. I don't think I'm really even going to trade that many out. I'll just bench him. Mm. Like, uh, who's that Who's that Brisbane player? Um, Dane's all <laughs> Matty Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks that, for the help. Was he the recruit? Ashcroft? Like, winner? Yep. Yeah. 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 Yes. Ashcroft. Thank you, Jane. Um, Close enough. <laughs> I'm not going to trade Ashcroft out. A lot of people are. He had a not a great fantasy game. Mm. Uh, against the crumb, but that's against the yeah. crumb, you know. We're shut down. We're too down. good. We are <laughs> yeah, massive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? What's some other good fantasy advice? I would be targeting Geelong and Gold Coast players because yeah, they've got yeah. the exclusive buy. Except Rory Atkins, don't target him. But yes, <laughs> yeah, no, that's um, that's good advice. But a lot G of GWS Ruckman. Yeah, Mr. Ruckman. Oh, that, that guy. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm pissed off about because I, I had Flynn. Oh, yeah. And I didn't uh, think Flynn was doing mm. that bad. And then now he's been, he's been replaced. But yeah, that Briggs guy doesn't look too bad. That um, McAndrew from Sydney that looked good the first game did really bad <laughs> the second oh. game. So don't, don't get him. Uh, but yeah, that's good advice. Get the Gold Coast players in. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, the, um, the new DPPs came out. That was a thing. Uh, Jack McCray is a forward now. So mm. maybe look at getting him. Was there any other good ones? I don't yeah. think so. There was no. that was a miss. Max Gorn missed forward uh, by 0.1% oh, yeah. game time. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. That's rough. 
Um, let's just have a quick look at our, our Project Fantasy Competition series on top. Oh, look who it is. It's Andy Monroe. Oh, he's oh, killing it on top. Oh, Mail day. <laughs> he's um, on top of the ladder with 10 wins and one loss. Yeah, What's his total geez, point score? Doing very is well. it higher than his jumper collection? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Debatable. 23,657, so about the same. Yeah, about on par. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how, and... Cream is uh, third on the ladder. I don't know how the hell that's happened. He's having a good year. (laughs) He's having a good year. He beat me this week, actually. Um, I'm 10th, so that's, I think... um, Is that good? Probably the worst I've ever done in fantasy this year. That's right. You're being having a good time. You know... Jade, After the are, you in, are you in this, Jade? In this uh, I'm in the one where we do head to head. Oh right, right. Yeah, let's have, <laughs> let's have a look at that one. Um, oh, topping that one is Lockie Dand, Patreon oh, yeah. and uh, member of the pod. And oh, see, Andy Wonder is only sitting sixth on that one with the overall Ooh. point. Of the mm. right. Yeah, not good enough, Andy. Uh, that was Fantasyland. Yeah. So yeah. now the preview. Yes. The preview. Bum, bum, bum. The next game. So you're going to this game, aren't you? I'm going to this game. Yeah. I'm heading to Darwin on Thursday morning, 7 a.m. flight with Jetstar. Can't oh, wait. Can't wait for it to be delayed four beautiful. times. <laughs> <laughs> you might get uh, there at the, at the <laughs> bounce. I know. Well, that's why That's why I left on Thursday because I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. this gives me a few days of cancellations <laughs> to get myself up there. So you can still walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> could probably drive there. Nah, the Ballarat no, drive no. was bad enough. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be I'll be on the grounds, you know, giving special comments from the sidelines. Oh, great. Yeah. I tell you what, games in Darwin are a good time. Yeah. Mm. Good yeah, time for you. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually excited for it. But Gold Coast, uh, they've got the advantage. You guys played there and won this week. So. Yep, won the last three in Darwin. Now, uh, mm-hmm. last year was Hawthorne, then North Melbourne. So <laughs> <laughs> it would be preferable if we weren't playing other teams in that middle kind of bubble where it's eight-pointer upon eight-pointer. Um, but, yeah, you guys do have the wood on us. Um, Didn't we win, we, like, the first 11 against yeah, the Suns or yep. something? Yep, so <laughs> yeah. the, the total ledger is 14-2 Crom's way. Um, but 2-1 uh, in the last three meetings. We don't meet mm. uh, twice a year too often, but we are this year. Um, mm. So, yeah, a bit of a bit of recent history. I guess uh, Gold Coast won by about... Eight or nine goals last year with Chol, Casbol, Ainsworth, and Rankin uh, <laughs> with, with three goals each. So quite the spread. Uh, yeah. The year before was that uh, Good Friday game at the Adelaide Oval where um, oh, Wits did his ACL, yeah. Crom five straight at quarter time, and Tex kicked six goals three. So that was the the Tex comeback oh, tour. Yes, um, yep. Yeah, it hurt, but it was also um, fun to watch the Texan get back to his glory. And the one before that was. Uh, yeah, not not good viewing for you guys. Four or five for a whole day. One goal, four by three quarter time. Oof. Oh yeah, and that, that was. That was I've erased that. From yeah, I was like, I do not remember this. <laughs> when, probably for good reason. When Rue gave the old, uh, uh, you know, Huey's a bit slow and he stacked it up with thirteen tackles. Oh, so just yeah. always yeah, 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 till yeah. after the game. That's the lesson there. So, um, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, the, the ledgers are even, but um, yeah, you guys have a good, good ten game, eleven game head start. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yeah, no, interesting. It's good analysis. So we don't have uh, Gold Coast supporters on the podcast ever. So <laughs> yeah, there's quite the link between the clubs. Um, a few players uh, yeah. have jumped between. We've got um, Rankin, obviously, and yeah. The Rat, um, Nathan Bock, inaugural son. Oh, uh, yes. Um, Jared Lyons, who didn't get mm. um, he didn't the greatest that. runner either. Um, yeah. Yeah. Same with Huey Greenwood, obviously, um, financially. Yeah. Oh, he's still staying. He still reckons him. he's staying there. <laughs> <laughs> George Costanza when he quit, quit. I didn't quit. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, Harrison Wig, if you remember him. Um, uh, legend, yep. yeah. Legend legend. Again, yeah. Uh, Jai Farah, if you include when he was in Crom oh, Sample oh, side. I was going to say, I didn't um, know that he played for Crom. But yep, Scotch go. College boy. Um, Josh Franco, an assistant coach at both clubs. Um, you may have got a censor warning for this next name. Um, oh. Kurt Tippett. Oh, oh yeah! Joined the board of directors at Gold Coast uh, a Does decade that count? after. That count. A decade <laughs> after requesting a trade home, yeah. he's, <laughs> he's finally made it. He, yeah, he, he, he just it. just went the, the long uh, way. 
<laughs> and a favourite of mine, uh, Jack Homps, after 18 oh. Games of the Suns, the Crom AFLW head of development. So huh. quite the tie between the two clubs. Um, between right. both SA teams is quite the tie. So, um, yeah, it kind of makes me feel included a bit when there's you know, <laughs> half of SA's membership base is just family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's more links than I thought there. Mm-hmm. I, I just, I always just think of Rory Atkins and that's about it. And what you seem to not think not of him a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should have brought in my Nathan Bock 2011 footy card. <laughs> <laughs> and what else you got there? You got some um, uh, oh, South some, talent. Some talent that I'm hoping that the recruiters aren't looking at scouting. Um, this one's probably safe from getting stolen. Sam Day, inaugural son, 149 games. He's 30, so can't mm-hmm. see him getting... Um, Poached back, uh, Sean Lemons, 140 games. We were just talking about him before the pod. That I'm surprised he's like he's one of those players like, like a Luke Brown. Someone mentioned where um, you know, unless you're watching him every week, you don't take much notice on him. Yeah. But just does the basics quite well. Um, Chris Burgess from West Adelaide. Uh, the he's lined up like goal tally wise. Yeah, and uh, in the VFL, he kicked the most goals last year. Yeah. Edged out uh, yeah. Fergus Green, so Frosty Frosty Miller medalist. Um, Do you reckon um, he's going to get a call up soon or not? He's, he's too far behind, like I, Shoal. I don't know because I wouldn't mind seeing him because he can pinch it like he did uh, when Wits went down a couple of years ago with yeah. me um, as an undersized ruck. Of course, um, he's only about 193, 194. I say only, but you know, <laughs> compared to the other <laughs> AFL rucks. Uh, or, or is he our Elliot Himmelberg? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I do quite like the burger, but um, yeah, when you got Casbolt, Joel King, Jed Walter getting picked up. Uh, in the draft next year um, he, mm. he does offer some good depth uh, Charlie Ballard is one that I think Adelaide will probably look up in particular mm. if they lose Dude or when as Wiz says um, <laughs> so he'll be hitting the 100 game after the bye and yeah um, it'll be a travesty if he's not in the All-Australian uh conversation at the end of this year um Lukosius as well there's the there's always the oh, storm yeah. brewing in the background and um, you know he's signed an extension so that storm will come back uh, in a couple of years and Stewie Jew of course uh now that's some SA talent <laughs> he was going <laughs> he was going at a grand final appearance every Olympic year <laughs> oh yeah so Central's 2000. in 2000 Port Adelaide in 2004 yeah. the Hawks in 08 where, what about Jeez. 2012? Sydney, What's he doing? Sydney in 2012 as an oh. assistant. Oh my then God. again in 2016. What? Gold Coast oh, in 2020. Wow. We let him down as we let... <laughs> uh, so, uh, God damn. Jeez, so, it's like yeah. the Olympics every so, four wow. years. Wow. Yep. That is yeah. wild. Stewie... Um, Hopefully by 2024 we can make it up and <laughs> maybe 2025 just to make up for the 2020. But, yeah, so there is quite the link. And, um, yeah, the one I'm most worried about from that list is losing uh, Ballard because, mm. as you know, good intercept defenders do not grow on trees. Mm. That's very true. Who I- would you pick out of all them if you wanted just one? Stewie G, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if, if you wanted just one of those players, yeah, I'd guess the consensus will be between Lukosius and Bella, but yeah. uh, take yeah. your pick. Who do you think the Crom, like if you were the head of, headless dude or dudette? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you very inclusive. Inclusivity. Um, how, how old is Charlie Ballard? Oh, 20, oh they're both 23. Yeah, yeah uh, oh. Ballard will be 24 in about two months, July, I think it was, yeah. Okay. Oh. I mean, if really Duday goes, up, bring it? Ballard in. Yeah, you'd and if so. Tex goes, bring Lukaku. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or we take them both. Perfect. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> oh. Oh. And uh, who are you getting back? Uh, you can have <laughs> Crouch. You can have yeah, Matt Crouch. Yeah. Matt Crouch. Oh, you'd love him. Yeah. <laughs> He's a real treat. Three, four years. I don't mind Matt Crouch. I think he he cops a lot. Yeah, I'm actually quite the fan of Crouch. So. Yeah, no, nah, he's, he's all right. We like Matt. I'll take Chase <laughs> Cones. <so. laughs> yeah, I'm do a Cones fan. Do we have any... Is there, is there any, like, players in the AFL, even the, the, from the Gold Coast for other teams? Like, I know that we... I was obviously Kurt Tippett, but who who else is actually from the Gold Coast plays AFL? From the like Gold from, Coast? Like, yeah, like, is it Liz? Isn't Charlie grew up, Dixon grew up in the from Gold up there? He's from Cairns. Yeah. Oh, I always okay. thought that he'd do the old... Come back home for one season and like win the flag, but uh, with Levi <laughs> still doing his thing, I don't think we'll, <laughs> for probably half the price. Um, 
Yeah, it's yeah. probably not. Oh, like, okay. I, don't, I don't see so the Gold Coast as a others. massive footy factory, to be honest. It's not not really the place where you build a football career. I mean, he, they are in the VFL. We've talked about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's yeah. it. Instant footy factory. The best is probably uh, Lockie Weller from the Academy. Oh. Yeah, he went true. by Frio. He's probably the um, the best Suns Academy product so oh. far. But um, keep your eye out for Jed Walter. He's the he's going to be the next big thing. Um, keep an eye out for him. He's already built like like a man and he's 17 like <laughs> yeah jeez yeah. keep an eye out remember the name okay there we go um, key forward uh, Lockie Weller also top five most attractive players in the AFL so he's got that accolade to yeah I've got to, I tend to agree yeah <laughs> 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 uh, all right let's um let's go around the table and do some predictions about uh, who you think is gonna win uh Crumb vs Gold Coast by how much and who is going to kick the most goals? We'll leave um leave Bear till last because I feel like he's going to have a <laughs> different uh, perspective than the rest of us. Um, so I I think the I reckon Crumb will get up. Mm-hmm. I reckon, yeah, I reckon it's happening by fifteen points. I reckon I'm going to sink fifteen beers at the game, <laughs> and I reckon. Um, uh, Rankin, I reckon, yeah, I reckon Rankin yeah, kick yeah. Good call. four goals. Yeah, good call. Four goals. Yeah. What do you reckon, Ben? Crows by 17, similar to you, and a Rankin masterclass is coming. Wow. Yeah, we okay. We're on the same page. Yeah, yeah I love it. Yeah. occasion. What do you reckon, yep. Jade? Uh, I'm going to back it up. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to go Crows by 28. And yeah, ranks for me. He's going to light it up. Mm. He's going to light it up, baby. Yeah, I'm going to go Crows as well by 35. Whoa! <laughs> just wow. We're just going up in increments. <laughs> <laughs> Can you bring it down? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to go off a cliff here. It's an upwards trend. <laughs> and uh, most goals to filthy. Whoa! Outsider. Nice. Okay. What do you reckon, Wiz? Um, I'm going to go with the Suns. Yeah. I just can't trust the Crom anymore. Uh, yeah, away from home. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Tex will pick a bag at least five. Okay. Mm. And, he, and we still lose. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Gee whiz. <laughs> Rough. All right. Yeah, it's it's going to be one of those ones where uh, either team could win by five goals and by the end you wouldn't be surprised. But i gotta, I got to back the Suns in. Mm-hmm. A huge danger, though, being there for 10 days straight. I looked very fatigued in that second game against North Melbourne last year. Uh, right. Um, because they, they stay, stay up there, they yeah. stay up there because it's like mm. a five, five and a half hour flight. So they do a lot of stuff. Mm. They got a bit of an academy up there as well. So they got a training base. And so uh, having so having all that set up, they'll do worse because of that. yeah, probably <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Got, bring How's back transportables. <laughs> um, I'll back in the Suns and uh, Mally Roses NT product. I reckon I reckon he can he can bob up with four. Um, slippery customer. Um, yep, I'm backing him in and. 20 points it will be difficult but yeah hopefully he is the difference I think it will be um, small forwards delight with I don't know if Texas kicking five he has got a hold of us a lot in the past but yeah it's it's real slippy up there and hopefully Ballard the man um, can cut off a few mm, okay who do, who do we reckon is going to be, since we've got a Gold Coast enough here, who's going to be best on ground for Gold Coast? Oh. I, I like uh, Matt, Matt Rowe's yeah. form at the moment. And I don't, yeah. I don't think, it's, he's not someone that you really tag or anything. No. So I think he's going to run rampant a bit. I'd say the pile warmer in the coach's box for Stewie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and That's good call. Yeah, I tell you what, when I went to the Suns Hawthorne game last year in Darwin, uh, Stewie Drew, he bounds up those stairs. We were sitting right near the coach's box and he takes like two or three steps at a time and he's like fully leaned over. <laughs> wow. People are like, Stewie, I love you. He pays no attention to that shit. <laughs> he just ball. goes ball And there's like, because the coach's box is just like one big like staircase up and there's like all the people like waiting to see him and there's just security like everywhere. They're like, I've never seen so many security around a coach walking up to a box but a they're like completely block it off they're like no <laughs> one's allowed through here no one's allowed it's like whoa but yeah I love love Stewie Drew you've got a bone to pick yeah, yeah. you know those gather around Hawaiian shirt bucket hat combos yeah. you can get <laughs> yeah. yeah they're rippers <laughs> uh, I forgot to wear mine tonight but yeah I, uh, I do enjoy wearing mine um, he was shown the Hawaiian shirt um, at open training at Norwood um, a picture of it his reaction was <clears throat> 
the AFL is selling that. <laughs> <laughs> now, wow. Tell Wait me a- you didn't picture Stewie Jew like thongs, boardies, and a Hawaiian shirt just strolling down. Yeah. Board, which, like, <laughs> just like. 100%. Yeah, shattered he dreams. Um, so yeah, he just yeah since that moment, Stewie and I have been on shaky terms. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he wears those pit vipers at training, so, <laughs> so he's got some style. But yeah, he doesn't rate Damn. the Hawaiian shirt. Jeez. I've got to get clarification whether it's just that Hawaiian shirt. But he did say, <laughs> "I like the bucket hat, though." So okay, okay, Elodie, you need to brown. find him on the weekend and ask him. All right, yes. all right, okay, okay. okay just opinion. stand on the stairs and <laughs> yeah. wear it. Yeah. And just say, Stewie, yeah. what do you reckon? Do you, yeah. <laughs> do you reckon this looks? Good. <laughs> he would just be shaking his head at me. No, uh, no love for Witsy could go big. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. no, I don't against with Rob. A and, oh. With it being wet, there could be quite a few stoppages. Um, so, yeah, Rao's a good shout, but um, mm. do you reckon both Ruckman get 60? Yeah, Whoa. potentially. Yeah, <laughs> 60 I can see Benny's bets, can you get a custom for that? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, do. <laughs> I think Rob, Rob and Wits is a, uh, it's an interesting matchup. Yeah. You know what I hope we get to see, mm. and I love it with Rob, when the ball's out in the wing on the loose and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's especially good when there's two Ruckman and it's yeah. just uh. like, Foopy in slow motion. And just, they look yeah. like cartoon. It kind of always reminds me of like Waluigi from the Mario <laughs> games. Like it's just like limbs flying everywhere. It's, yeah, it's very, there's a lot of Waluigi. He, he had his moment last year against the Suns when we did our live and he just shepherded no one in the middle of oh, the ground. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was great. Brilliant. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I guess I guess while well, we've got you uh, guys here, uh, Wiz, what do you reckon for the rest of the crazy season? Where do you think we'll finish on the ladder, and who do you think will win the gold jacket? Ooh. Uh, I think the gold jacket would have to be Jordan Dawson, mm-hmm. Captain yeah. Cromson. Um, it's hard to say where we'll finish. Uh, anywhere from six to. 12th I think mm, yeah, hopefully just out. sneak in the 8th though no the 12th is the Gold Coast that's <laughs> 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 stay away yeah. <laughs> um, and what do you reckon Bear? do you think do you think Shui Ju survives the year and where do you reckon you guys finish how He'll many pies per Round <laughs> depends on the results. I've, uh, I've noticed okay. some stress eating habits. So, <laughs> so towards the end of the year, yeah. it, it might yeah. ramp up. Yep, mm. five but, per game. <laughs> uh, I, I think Gold Coast will just miss out. Uh, you know, it's like the Collingwood game. You guys lost at home. Like when yeah. we lost the Melbourne game, you, you go in thinking you won't win, and then you go out thinking you should have won, and mm. losing a free on gather round. Those losses mm. that yep. you should have won, potentially yeah. the Richmond and GWS game for you guys, by the end of the season, you're really counting those points that you didn't get. Mm. And yeah, especially if it's, say, this game coming up, if if we lose, that's it. Um, I'm calling it. Um, and I think if you guys win, you might sneak in eighth. And I yeah. got a feeling... Don't say it. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> the lid's rattling. It's... Uh, we could see a showdown final oh. this year. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Please, I like no. that. Please, <laughs> I would actually combust. I would <laughs> no. literally. I'm Hang on. Is it true or not true that you are a closet port fan? Not closet. <laughs> oh. Grew up as a port fan oh. and my dad's still quite involved with the club. So um, watch out. do have a lot of respect for them, unlike probably most people in this room. But <laughs> if, there's, if there's one team I don't have respect for, it is the uh, yellow and black. <laughs> yeah, All right. yeah, Any Tigers fans yeah. out there? Sorry, valid. but uh, at least we're in agreement. We got yeah, you we can get around that. <laughs> 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 yep. So showdown final. Lock it in. Time stamp it. Episode two. All right. Seven. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. This guy's gonna be like yep. a genius. <laughs> I'll call back on uh, eight two four six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that time I was on your podcast and the guy ruined us, and then I said the. the <laughs> <laughs> Look, I remember some of those things for sure. <laughs> And I think Rory Atkins has mentioned that night. <laughs> Once or twice. 300 times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's been mentioned more than he's played games. <laughs> oh, this is the most times his name has been brought up in a single conversation, surely. <laughs> um, yeah, so tune in on Thursday night for our preview yep. pod where after the teams come out, we will discuss a bit further about the upcoming game. 
<laughs> and sign up to our Patreon as well to get some extra content yes. from us, some obscure crows. We're just going to about to record the Around the Grounds for the, oh, yes, for the yeah, last we're round. Just, yeah, we're just going so to get on to the rest of the segments Around the Grounds, Barrel and Sess of the Week, and we'll talk about Sample as well. So jump onto Patreon to get that. Follow us on all the socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Tiki Toki. Yep. And <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you <don't need> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you want to see us all doing, I don't know, what's the latest TikTok trend? Anyone into TikTok here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I can tell you what the latest trend is. Probably not appropriate. To we'll get together and do a TikTok at the uh, Suns Crows reverse fixture. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, do come something. On. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Can't wait. Oh, the only TikTok I know is Andy Monroe. I don't. Day. <laughs> the goat. The goat. <laughs> and thank you very much to our Patreons. Uh, and uh, we want to acknowledge our ten dollar Patreons yes. and above a month, and some of our new Patreons, which Ben will read for us right now. He certainly will. We have got Jess Cook, who is fresh on board the Patreons. Dave Carnavale, Jake Bockhove, Ray O'Hara. Over in the corner there. Uh, ben Piero, Sophie Damon, also in the corner over there. <laughs> Drew Corner in the corner over there. Uh, <laughs> Sam Curtis, Sean Marie Davies, Brendan McGarrigan, James Payne, Jezza Withers, Matt Roylance, and Neil Roylance. And also there is one other new one to stump me at the bottom, Grace Moore. Welcome. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah, thanks, guys. And if anyone else wants to join that ever-growing list, please sign up. And it's worth, worth your while. Mm-hmm. Uh, God, I feel like I've talked about the crumb match so many times. So just go, <laughs> one more go time. to the crumb match. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> Crowject.bigcartel.com. Hey. Get around it. Get your, oh, your air fresheners, your garden steaks, your whatever Everything. else. Anything. You want it, we got yeah, it. Yeah, you, you want crumb on something, we'll, we'll prob- we probably do it. Crumb it up. Yeah. <laughs> crumb it up, yeah. Crumb all your stuff up. Um, and Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, just about um, does it. It do- just about does it. So thank you so much, to you guys, for um, joining us. Baron Wiz, do you want to yes. do a little plug of your podcast? We've got some of your nice yeah. stubby holders Beautiful. here as well. <laughs> well, you can find us on Apple Podcasts. That's Seven Us and a Serious. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok is a little inactive, so I'll uh, get on that. <laughs> but yeah, like we us. we do try and get some conversations cranking on the socials, and yeah, would love some engagement. So if you guys, you know, want some interstate based Foopy enough, you know where to come. Seven offs in a serious. We got a footy card of the week competition every week, yes. so you you bring along a card. And um, would you like to tell everyone <laughs> if they missed what card you brought along to the episode? Yeah, I brought in a, a dual card, one with Simon Goodwin and because it was a pedigree card, a dog. <laughs> Right, yeah. <laughs> it was a little white terrier or something, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that is elite. I don't mind that. I've got that whole that set. That's elite. It's run. And yep. he won. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. So, well, we had what Ray Hall versus Tom Swift. So, a couple of uh, forgotten names in yeah. poopy history. So, if you like our trip down memory lane, hit us up. <laughs> Amazing. Do you know I own I own one footy card and it's and Peter bought it for me. It's the because my favourite obscure Crows player, anyone listening probably Atkins. knows, but <laughs> 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 that's um, is Nick Gill. And so Peter bought me a Nick Gill um, footy card and then he wouldn't tell me how much it cost and I don't know anything about collectibles and I was like, Oh, I hope you didn't spend a lot on this and he's like, Oh, I don't want to tell you and then he told me like weeks later, he's like, It cost a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I just, I just didn't want to upset you. <laughs> Wait, are you telling him on yet? Because he's in the broadcast game. Oh uh, yeah, we yeah. actually interviewed him last year the year before I don't so know. we've got our yeah. uh, obscure crow uh, series which yes, is all over do. on our patreon which... and we've released, released a few uh, publicly but yeah i need to get around that a bit more um but yeah many... we interviewed nick gill we did yeah we've done um chatted all, all chatted to him all about the uh video port versus the buy oh yes <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Created. <laughs> yeah he's got that a very great. unsuccessful youtube channel if you want <laughs> yeah. to check it out. <laughs> his videos get like 50 views but <laughs> oh, we have something in common <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so go and check out um seven nuffs and a serious on all of the did i get that right <laughs> really? yeah. on all, all yeah. you could on all the um podcast platforms um thanks for joining us that last 10 minutes there ben <laughs> Quick burst, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, quick day is a good day. Uh, Jade, thank you. Thank you. Elaine, thank you. Thank you. And Wiz and Bear, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I stop. I love Elvis Presley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, my God. I did this all night, baby. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> keep uh, it up, keep it up. <laughs> Go Crom. Go Crom. Go, Go, Go snooze. <laughs> 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 I find present okay. It does.
Goes to Galea. 